Let's talk about the gold standard for how to train VO2 max. The sweet spot for that energy system is three to eight minutes of work. And what defines that? What defines that is you do as much work as you can at a steady state in that period of time. So it, um, so at the low end of that is three minutes. So meaning how hard can you push for three minutes such that it's roughly the same level of um, work output, so watts, uh, if you're on a bike, for example. Um, but by the end of three minutes, you're truly spent. And then at the upper end of that, it would be up to eight minutes long, which obviously means it's going to be far less wattage, but the same physiologic response, which is by the end of it, you are truly gassed. Um, I've talked about this again. I personally just tend to gravitate to four minutes, four to five minutes is where I like to do the work, but I think it's great to mix it up. And I'll use four minutes as an example, just so folks understand what this should feel like. Um, when I'm doing a four minute interval, I barely notice the first minute. So if at the end of the first minute of a four minute interval, you're dying, you went out way too hard. At two minutes, I'm still feeling pretty darn good. And believe it or not, sometimes I'm wondering if I'm not, if I shouldn't be pushing a little bit harder. At three minutes, I'm truly wearing it. Um, and that last minute is brutal. And that's, again, assuming I'm largely holding power constant for the four minutes. 